Hi, my name is Emma. This is Luna. We live in Derbyshire and welcome to our garden. Over the years, we've introduced water to our garden in many different ways, from a washing up bowl, working up to bigger bowls. Then last year in lockdown, we decided to dig out our own pond. We put a liner in, we bought some stones from a local company. Some of our plants are at our own garden, this arum lily and a flag iris, and then other ones we bought from a local garden centre. Around the edges, what we did was we put wildflower seed, scattered it around, and this is what it's created in a year. We've seen lots of different wildlife. The birds come in here and they decide to have a bath. We got some frog spawn, which our friends donated. We got little tadpoles. It's fantastic. And last year was the first year we've had dragonflies in our garden. Luna and I would like to share with you some of our top gardening tips. Anyone who's got an animal that's gone into the vets has come out with one of these. Rather than put it in landfill, we decided to use it as a cloche. Here in Derbyshire, we have very cold and wet winters and our arum lily never flowers. This is the first year it's flowered. So our homemade cloche, thanks to Luna, has worked. I grew these zinnias from seed and now we've put the tomatoes in the mini greenhouse, they've had to come outside so they get more established so I can grow them on out in the garden. The first night we got attacked by slugs. That one just completely took the whole top off and this one's had a go. So I've used this old hanging basket coconut mat to put round it and hey ho, the slugs don't like it. So if you've got an old coconut mat, out your hanging basket, don't throw it away, use it to protect your young plants against slugs. Luna's coat gets very woolly and we have to clip her about every five to six weeks. Rather than throw away her fur, we put it in this large suet bird feeder for the birds to take. They take bits out and they line their nest. As you can see, they've been very busy over the last few months. Hope you found those tips helpful. Thanks everybody for watching. Happy gardening from me and Luna.